How's it going guys? Uh, we're back with another Dirt Profile and it looks like Tears back. No! No! So, why don't we go ahead and try and make their inner monologue sound like a dial-up modem when they can't resolve a damn thing in Grave or dare to use something to, uh, to pay cost by banishing. We have Exorcister. So, getting right into it. We have three Martha. This is kind of the, the heart and the soul of the deck. Everything else gets you halfway there. Ah! Uh, this gives you everything. So, Martha, just eat Ellie's out, Ellis. Uh, Ellis, if you have it in your hand and you have another Exorcister, you can just special it. All of these do other stuff. We'll get into it. Uh, Stella lets you special summon um, another Exorcister from hand. There's a few combo show tutorials out there that I'm not quite sure of, but let's be real, I am fairly certain about rank 4 spam. Um, if you can find a one card combo with Martha that gives you two XEs with no assistance, you've kind of cracked it. Um, thus far, I haven't quite worked it out. Sophia, drawing is nice. Pax, it's the archetypal rotor for any Exorcist card. It's quite brilliant. Um, really good consistency card. It's a shame it's a once per turn. That's my only complaint. Aritama and Sakitama. Um, they're just a combo of spirit monsters that provide a rank 4. Um, they are pretty much the best supplemental rank 4 engine in the game currently, as far as I'm aware. Um, basically, normal Aritama, search Sakitama, Sakitama effect summons itself, make a rank for, search search whatever you want from, well, as long as it's a legal target for your exe, from your exes. And we have Zora, because really this is a bait and switch and we're playing Ma uh, Magistus. Uh, you will notice this is in German and this is because... What it's actually for is a rank 4 engine. Now, I don't read German and don't have the text to hand, but I think it was pretty simple. Basically, you summon the Zora, you equip with the Zora's effect the Ninaruru, which, don't say that drunk ten times fast. Uh, you can Ninaruru to pop a back row or something. Uh, I'd have to double check that. Again, it's nice to just be aware of these things so you read the cards, but you know what? While we're going through this many decks, I've not committed everything to memory verbatim. Uh, and also, Zora reborns a spellcaster, which you will notice the Exorcister um, monsters in deck are in fact all spellcasters, which... Say it again with me, people. Gives you a rank 4. So, adds consistency to the deck and gives you another option for that rank 4. Really, genuinely, rank 4 turbo. All it is, and the rank 4 is quite impactful. Small world to go with it. Prosperity feels mandatory in this because you can't, like, pop off an extra, uh, uh, an extra app with your extra deck, uh, being the way it is. With Martha just getting you to what you need most of the time, it feels more so that you want specific cards over card advantage. Um, I can't wait for this to be budget for everyone. Um, I'm actually having to borrow these today from Moz, who has kindly lent them me for depth profiles. Uh, Returnia. So, you get to banish and then XEs with monsters on your side of the field. So you can, I believe it's targeted banish. <coughs> Excuse me. Control monsters, you can throw Rexus to monsters. Okay, so only works under the, the condition that all monsters have to be Exorcist to monsters. Um, you can target one card your opponent controls are in their graveyard, banish it. Then you can apply the following effect. Immediately after the effect resolves Exorcist uh, 1, Exorcist uh, XYZ monster using um, monsters you control. I just I just buffered. Um, 
and then if you XYZ summon this turn and banish one card your opponent controls, you can only activate one per turn. Um, basically, you, your ideal situation is you've got two XEs doing various things, and then you go ahead and two XEs into Magnifica, which gives you a banish during your opponent's turn and floats um, back into whatever's under it. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's kind of your generic gives you banishing disruption. Um, so you get double banish out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Vardis, kind of sick. He tell you a couple of X sisters from deck. And then I think you... Da, da, da. They have to be what's mentioned. They all tie into each other, but it's fine. We've got that covered. Um, after it resolves, you can only summon X sisters. It's fine. You're not doing it in your turn. Um, I am sure they return to deck something. Shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. So, the idea is, if your opponent has to pay cost, you can just yeet out a couple of X sisters. Probably not the Martha, because you want that for, for follow-up or whatever. Um, then, if your opponent dares to pay cost, all your X sister main deck monsters have an effect where you can just tag into a, a an X sister um rank four so just just dwell of them and banish a thing of theirs and just cut them off all the resources this deck just eats graveyard reliant decks um as far as as far as the rank four engine can um it's it's just all the graveyard hate in a deck really um yeah so that's that's kind of the plan with Vardis. You can combo Vardis with Returnia to give you just an extra one. <sighs> Realistically, you would you would really rather be hoping that you know you're playing into a favorable matchup. That's the biggest thing that keeps this deck down. Um, it's very format dependent. Um, incidentally, absolute garbage against Kashtira. So. Probably why we haven't seen it in a while. Speaking of Dimension Shifter, it still hoses a lot of decks. Uh, and then we've got Ash Blossom, needs no introduction. Ghost Mourner, it's Imperm that, well, it's Veiler specifically because Imperm's fine. It is Veiler that works under um, D Shifter, essentially. So. It's on special summon of an opponent's monster. And if it leaves the field, they get burnt for the troubles for the attack as well. So do with that information what you will. Uh, then we have three imperms for some targeted negation. It's uh, it's imperm, you know. For the extra deck, we will skip Magnifica for a second because that's like the boss monster. Macallus searches and you can banish with it. Um, the banish, I do not believe, is quick effect. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. Um, it has to be, it has to use an X sister name. Um, once per turn, yeah. So, ideally, you can make this banish, float, and then do some other stuff but it's also a key consistency card it's why it's quite important uh caspatel is kind of the second best consistency card whereas this adds i believe is it a spell trap or is it anything uh you can detach one but it's spell trap so this searches the spell traps and because pack searches anything this searches anything this specifically only searches a monster uh, it stops them also special summoning from Grave um, on Summon. So if you, ideally you want to be putting the on Summon things out during your opponent's turn. Um, a Sophiel, uh, this is kind of a Dweller, but it's an Archetype. And it, yeah, it just blanks their Graveyard. 
Um, does need an exorcist or as material. Uh, neither player can activate card effects in the graveyard this turn. You don't care, like, at all. So that's fine. Um, and then you can detach one material from the card, target one monster your opponent controls, and return it to the hand. So it's a compulse and a dweller. Um, pretty nice. Uh, Gabrine, I think this is just the imperm that... Oh, gives 800 attack. Bears. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, I don't believe any of these can be destroyed by a monster summoned from the graveyard. There's a lot of little niche things with Exorcister. You are going to want to familiarise yourself with them. Um, none of them stop you just picking up the deck and playing it and figuring it out as long as you understand the core mechanics, which is rank 4 turbo. Um... As mentioned before, Ninaruru, that attaches to uh, Zora. And then uh, we'll go back, actually. So, Magnifica, you need two ex-sister XYZ monsters to make. Um, specifically two rank fours, but they all are. Uh, that's actually the summoning requirement for it. And... So it can make a second attack every turn. So it's a decent little OTK machine. Um, it can banish and it can float. There's a lot of words on the card though. So let me just very quickly check. Yep, banish. When your opponent activates card or effect, quick effect, you can return one XYZ monster. Uh, you own attached to this card to the extra deck then you can special summon that monster from the extra deck by using this card's material. So it kind of flip-flops. So you'd probably like, you'd have your two materials, you'd banish with one of them, and then they have the audacity to respond, so you tag out and tag back in. And then if it's Michaelis, banish again. If it's another one, you've locked something down and floodgated them. Um... Honestly, just have fun with it. Have a little bit of a, a play with the, uh, the deck. Right, Tornado Dragon is pretty good, is pretty slept on. Uh, we're not dealing with crap like Mystic Mine. I mean, it doesn't outskill Drain, but it's still pretty solid. Everyone always forgets this exists. Great. The next couple, I don't own a Baguska right now, uh, which is news to me. But... I've just thrown in Utopia. You can float into Lightning. This thing outs Avramax, so it's not bad. Like, does a nice chunk of damage. Like, swings for 5k. Um, so, you know, it's fine. I would recommend Baguska and maybe the new Sky Striker Link too. Um, and then we've got a couple of Zeus's because two Zeus's is better than one. Um, if you're watching this post. Uh, Agov release, then you know what? Dark Zeus, probably a shout. That's great for Xyz related decks as well. Um, but yeah, that that is pretty much the deck, people. Um, let me know what you think of the build. Uh, I'll probably knock together a quick uh, a quick combo without going heavily into tutorials. Um, do you know what? I will. I'll do a quick test hand. So I don't know why I'm laying this all out. And if you guys would like some actual combo videos, um, let us know in the comments, and we can do some like actual dedicated combos and properly do our homework on these uh, these fun little decks that we. That we put out each week um i'm certainly gonna gonna kind of pick this up and play it a little bit um let's get a, a decent shuffle in first editors feel free to fast forward this and now seeing as you've returned from that meme or whatever transition they did i don't know these guys are a, a lawrence their own we have a nice shuffled deck 
and draw a five card hand and see what it can do. Well, as it happens, not a great deal, but that's fine because we've got Shifter. So that probably solves a lot of problems right there. And Ashen and Imperm is pretty decent. Uh, so we can likely normal summon Stella. Effect of Sakitama in hand to normal summon itself. Um, I keep going to throw it in defense. Do you know what? We'll just we'll take the bars away so we can see. Um, and then you know what? We make a rank four. Detach material that gets banished. Don't have space. Um, and search for. Now we can get packs here to get anything. Um, I think we'll lock down a Martha. Yeah, so. We can't summon or activate effects, so we are in fact locked out of Martha there. Uh, you could kind of just... You really want to get to another... You do want to find a way. Uh, so fear's no good because we've used our normal. We've kind of used a normal twice. So it's probably Ellis. Um... A lot of this is pretty short because, like, sometimes this happens. The other thing, you you can just return here. Um, just have the banish. The runder shifter, you've got an ash and an infirm. Uh, failing that, yeah, there's no point in setting up Ellis because they're not going to be able to remove a card for you to float into. Um, you can grab a pack to grab whatever you want. Oh, it's Spell Trap anyway, so if you wanted to grab Ellis, it'd have to be three packs. Uh, you can Vardis, but again, not a lot of point with the current setup. So, like, it doesn't look like much, but you've got to banish for whatever the attempt to do. Everything they're doing, like, the graveyard is dead. Um, I really need to move this map. Uh, the graveyard's dead because of Shifter. You've got a couple of bits of disruption, uh, so let's just grab... Grab Returnia to be safe, with the intentions of not using it if we can help it. Um, and then we could get aggressive with it. Shuffle up, do the court. Next turn you draw in a Sacred Armor again. Well, that kind of sucks, but... Such is life. Do another very quick one to see if we can actually make anything happen. Um... I don't know, I just kept trying to make this deck more and more consistent, as consistent as I possibly could. And sometimes you still just get hands like that. And at the same time, sometimes Shifter just wins. Basically, if you're not against Flu, you're probably alright. If you're against Flu, really try and hit that Eaglin, because realistically nothing else you're doing is anything that will bother them. Um, probably do a Flu deck profile. Blue is pretty, pretty cool. I need ulti slayers, though. I'll get Tom to do his flu deck profile, and then I'll blow his away, with mine being considerably more based. Modest, by the way, I am. Right, Ash, Martha. Right, we're fine. Vardis, we're even better. Ash again, I could have done without. That's cool. So... We want the Martha. So with Martha, special summon. Special. Ellis, depending if you know what your opponent's playing, um, might kind of change your decisions here. Go into uh, Callus. Detach to search. Grab. Eh, depends which way you want to go. Um, we haven't normal, so you can grab packs to grab. Where is she? Sophia to draw. That feels like hoping a little bit, but if you want a high roll. Um, 
or with Vardis in hand, I would be very tempted to grab Returnia. Set yourself a Vardis, set a Returnia. You've got two disruptions in hand. Your Vardis is going to activate and it's going to grab some Exorcist names. Uh, they do have to have the name of the other one. So, who does Ellis tie to? Stella, that works. So, you probably want to keep your Ellis's and whatnot in deck, but this is probably fine. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you've Vardist. You've got two bodies. If they at all pay cost by banishing a card, or if they remove a card from their graveyard, then you are just going to lock them out of the graveyard. Have an imperm. Banish something. Banish something again. Do you know, they just keep trying to play... Let's go into to Magnifica. Banish something again. Ash something and Ghost Marner it. And if they're somehow still going, tag into a Macallus for next turn. Because I'm sure whatever... Oh, yeah. You can imperm them as well. It looks like nothing. But it kind of pops off. Um, it's very slow. It feels, but the stuff it does isn't too shabby. Um, I'm really enjoying like messing around with the deck. I haven't gone into like really seriously labbing it. <coughs> Excuse me. I just know that I like the Zora and the Small World uh, to make it kind of a bit more consistent. And that's kind of my thoughts on the build. Um, I'm obviously being pain today. So, let me know what you thought. If you have any tips whatsoever um, for this deck, then please do let me know uh, if there's any just no-brainer things that I missed. Um, I'm a little new to it. Uh, I think the build is solid. I do stand by the build. Um, my execution of it is something else. I've kind of done my research on, on getting the build finely tuned and I just need to learn all the little niches because obviously I somewhat get how to rank 4. Um, but yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, hit the bell icon and um change the subject i'm leaving <laughs>